Automatic CQ Cooler. A great project for the QRP -er and one that's both fun to build and gets a lot of contacts in the log. A CQ Cooler will open up bands like 10 and 6 metres. They might be dead, but people are tuning around and listening, just waiting for someone to have the guts to call. Even bands like 40 metres during the day. You might not hear much, but there are always people around and you'll often get contacts. A CW caller saves you the drudgery of calling CQ manually. You just sit back, do what you're intending to do and wait for people to call you. There have been all sorts of schemes, electromechanical devices, modified tape recorders, ICs and dyed mattresses. These days a microcontroller is cheapest and most flexible. I use the Arduino and I'll show you how. I was going to use a separate board and another chip but I had difficulties in uploading the program so I gave up. There's very little hardware you need to add. All I put on was a read relay and a protection diode. The Arduino can just drive a read relay. It's also fine for an optocoupler or a transistor, but it's not really satisfactory for a larger relay. The only other parts are a couple of sockets, a switch and a power connection. Your transceiver must have certain features. First of all, automatic transmit receive switching either semi-break-in or break-in. You don't want to flick a switch every time the CQ caller finishes its bit. And secondly, it's got to have transmit receive offset. Another thing is your audio muting circuit has got to prevent loud and annoying thumps, especially if you're trying to do something else. Here's a use for a crystal control rig. I've said they're no good for very much, but if you hook one up to a CQ caller, that's about your only hope of getting contacts. I've been going for 15 minutes and still no contacts. However, the band is starting to liven up with activity on other frequencies. I'll keep calling and see how long it takes for someone else to find me.